and then all of my points were like in this top little corner, right? And like, I'd be like, no, you needed to see all that empty space. Nobody does. There's no babies in here that are, you know, maybe, maybe people who uh, occasionally act like a baby, including me, um, but no actual babies in here, which means that all of our heights are pretty tall. All right, so we're going to start graphing them, 73 and 20. Just put a point down. 65 and 16 and a half. Seventy-three and a half and twenty. Sixty-two and fifteen point five. Seventy-one and eighteen point five. Seventy and eighteen point five. Seventy-two and nineteen point five. And 67 and 18.5. Yep. Yep. Michaela, there's always some in the drawer over here, and you can just grab it without asking me. The 73 and 20? Yeah, you put it on 71. 73, yeah, you're right. Thank you. Better? Well, what do you guys think? Is height related to how long it is between your palm and your middle finger? Yes, according to Yeah, and, and what, what do you call this? What do you call it when things go uphill like this? It's called a certain correlation. Do you remember what that's called? A positive correlation. What would a negative correlation look like? It'd be going downhill. And what would no correlation look like? It, no, it'd be like scattered. It would just be like there, you would see no pattern. If it was a straight, it's not a correlation at all. It's just a, it's like a linear, it's not even a linear relationship. It just means that they have no effect on each other. Like if I said, um, okay, we're going to measure your height and then tell me how many, uh, how many hours you spend in school every day for your classes. And then you'd tell me your height and then we'd go around the room and everybody would have the same amount of time, right, that they spend in school for their classes because we all have to have the same amount. And so that doesn't mean that your height's related to that at all. It just means that one is stable. So, but it doesn't have an official name. Okay, everybody cool on scatter plots? Oh, make sure you have a label on the top, uh, height um, versus hand, finger, length. I know it's not very exciting, but does this make sense to you? Cool. It's a good thing to see the difference between correlation and causation. Anybody know what correlation and causation are? We talked about that in any other class? Direction. One is causing the other. Is it possible for you guys to have um, a uh, two things could look like they're related, but they're not really? Definitely. Um, there was actually one that was all about like the number of like pirates in the world, like actual pirates, pirates who are you know like like Somali pirates, like pirates that are hurting people, right? Um, not like yar, um, and uh, and the temperature, like how it, the temperature has been rising, like a little bit. Like they're all, like if you look at those graphs, it's like they're like exactly. It's stupid how exactly the same they are, um, but they have nothing to do with each other. It just happens to be just a random thing. It's not like oh my gosh, it's warmer outside, and like one more guy is like you know what I will be a pirate. It's a nice day, you know. Like nobody is nobody's doing that. That just happens to be, that's called a correlation, not necessarily a causation. Um, some things are really obvious where one causes the other, like how much rain you get in a week and how many people in the school are carrying umbrellas with them. One caused the other. You got a question, Andon? No, I was just going to say, I wonder if uh, rising heat causes people's brains to boil and make them evacuate. 
Not only is it boiling your brain, but interesting, funny thought for sure. Okay, um, the last thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need somebody to embarrass. Um, so I need somebody who is willing for me to embarrass them in this class. I'm going to pick Triton because I want somebody older, and you're the oldest one who's volunteered. Okay, so Triton. I'm going to need to know um, how... Uh, all right, we're going to go back in your life. We're going to go to, let's start sixth grade. Okay, so we've got sixth grade. Everybody write down Triton's dad on the side. Sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, uh, ninth grade, tenth, and eleventh. Now, I want you to rate yourself on a scale of zero to ten with how awkward you were. Okay, how weird and how awkward you were at those ages. So think back to sixth grade. What would you rate yourself? Ten being extremely awkward, one being super normal. Sixth grade is probably nine out of ten. All right. Got a nine out of ten. Oh, starting strong. Seventh grade probably nine out of ten. Okay. Eighth grade probably nine out of ten. Is this just nine that nines out of ten the whole time? No. Okay. Start, start okay. Okay. In ninth grade probably eight out of ten. Oh. Then. 10th grade, probably a 7 out of 10. Okay. 11th grade, probably a 5 out of 10. Oh, guys, we got some normal stuff there. Okay. Let's, I'm going to go back a little bit further. Can you remember 4th grade and 5th grade? Not really, but Who was your teacher in 4th grade? Mr. Baringo, right? He was a 4th grade teacher, I think. Yeah. How was that year? Think you were kind of normal? Like, do you think you were more normal than sixth grade? No, definitely not. No, definitely not. Were you like at a 10 when you were a kid? Okay, this is like a solid 10. How about at fifth grade? Do you think things got a little better or were they still solid 10s? Still solid. Okay, so we're 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 7, 5. Okay, so um, we're going to title this graph uh, Triton's Awkwardness. Okay. And it looks like, um, this is called a time series chart. I'm going to put that over here on the side. Maybe here, I'm going to zoom out so everybody can see. I'm going to write over here, scatter.